Hello everyone and welcome to Little Paws Homestead. So today on the homestead we are finally getting ready for a nice treat. Uh, we are getting a tree removed that way we can set up our beds. About two weeks ago we picked up those pallets with the sides and uh, once, where is it? Once that tree comes down we'll be able to set them up and start filling them with soil. Uh, he should be here any moment, so let's, uh, chickens, stop it, I'm trying to talk. So he should be here any moment, so, uh, it's gonna be a fun day for him. You know, at first I was really torn about taking down the big trees on our lot, but as we've lived here for longer and longer, it's been quite apparent that with the windstorms that we get, these trees blow around and we actually before we moved we had one that fell that way so they're so tall and so thin now that they are a little bit of a hazard we don't want anything to happen to our property or our neighbor's property this one specifically was so that we that way we could have uh, the morning sun get to the garden because without with it standing there it's really just shade here can't have that. Plants want sun. Goodbye, tree. So, there's the aftermath of the tree. Um, now it's, he's gonna come back and cut up the, the really big stuff. Uh, so it's more manageable pieces for us. But now it's moving all it over to the shed so it's not in the way of the beds. Fun. We decided to clean out, this is where the, the wood is going, next to the shed. So we have to clean up all of our wonderful scrap wood pile from the fence. Uh, and it's starting to rain and it is disgusting outside. So. <laughs> We're hoping we can get most of it done before uh, it starts to rain, if it's supposed to rain. Uh, and then get the wood moved over and get the raised beds in. Yeah. Oh, and finish up the quail coop. Well, new quail cage. That's Coop's already done. Did that yes. last year. Yes. But the new quail cage has to be finished too, so we can move them out. Yes. So we've already made a lot of progress. All of the stuff in the burn barrel, as well as the stuff down there on the on the concrete pad. concrete pad is all removed from there so getting there fun so far to put a sweater on it's a little chilly out but the uh side of the shed is all cleaned up and it's time to start getting ready to move some of the wood from the tree that we took down over to the shed so to do that i'm going to employ the help of Oh, that guy right there. So it's a, it's a dumping garden cart and we're gonna put it together right now. Are you gonna help dad put together the cart? Maybe, no, just wanna play fetch. You're not gonna let me take the ball though. No. No. small snake started putting it all together and the bed is cracked so all the stores are closed now so we're trying to figure out what to do probably gonna have to give Canadian Tire a call and <coughs> see what they say yeah I know you're upset too it's later in the day and now it's sunny we got lots and lots of wood to move around Let's go. Moving wood is hard work. 
Why did I sign up for this? This tree that we got taken down used to be split, um, and then before we moved in, the split part fell. So Scott found soil, so decomposing tree uh, that we're going to save and put in the raised beds. So now we'll start putting in the raised beds. Woo! We even gave ourselves some nice seating by the campfire. Yep, we're good. Let the puppies out. <laughs> Please look at all the new stuff in the yard. Oh, you jumped. You I jumped over something. Are you broken? No, no, you can do that. Good, Good job, Zipper. Zipper. So it's like five o'clock now, and we're finished. We got all the wood moved and sorted, so some of it will be mushroom growing, some of it's gonna be firewood. Uh, and then some of it we're using in the dog yard for like jumps and uh, seats around the fire pit. And then we got all of the raised beds up. So I had planned for 12 raised beds and we ended up finding space for 17, as well as we were gonna have two in-ground garden spaces kind of mixed in uh, the backyard as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of room for growing stuff. And I now have a lot of beds to fill. But that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna see these get full and full of fun plants, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and give us a like, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.